retirement letter was written by Naepic. You can find it on the SCP Wiki in a link in the description down below. It is under a Creative Commons share-alike attribution license. Hey, kid. You know, I never knew how I'd write this, but it's been on my mind long before today, and I've finally gotten the balls to put it onto paper. I'm retiring. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I hate it here. Every day, I still get to see the same people who make me smile, who make my job here easier. We crack jokes about how we don't get paid enough for this. About the good old days before we implemented this modern tech, or about how old we're getting. And that's the thing. I think I'm too old to keep doing this. I'm sure there are other older folks. I know there's one grandma who's at least a decade older than me, and she knows damn well what she's doing. That's great and all, but, uh, all those old folk still got that kick in them. Still got that spark to keep making this place better for everyone else. And me, well, I think you can figure that out on your own. You know, I always wondered where I would get working at this site. I always figured that I'd work here, forget all the weird stuff, apply any skills I got in the job market. To think that I'd be stuck here for so long that now I'm considering retiring. Well, I started working here with two other friends. Did you know that? Called ourselves the Triumvirate. Said that we'd all make our names known, and damned if we didn't. Things were easier back when the triumvirate was whole. We all had different roles, but god damn it, did I look forward to seeing their faces. You know the saying, three stinking bastards can beat the sleeping dragon. It felt like we could do anything when we were together. One of them made a name for himself by getting into trouble with one of the departments on his first couple of days. Got a whole bunch of complaints that he was difficult to work with, and then he became one of the greatest men that team ever saw. Of course, he was also the first one to leave. The other one stuck around much longer, God help his soul. He knew damn well what he was doing, probably the best out of us, and he got promoted fast. Never saw a more deserving candidate than him. Ended up leading one of the sections I was in. But that wasn't enough to keep him at the site, and he left too. Maybe not permanently. He's still on the payroll list, and I think a couple guys have him on speed dial, but... uh I haven't seen him since. And that just leaves me. I'm getting old, kid. Gone are dreams of me quitting and finding a job in the light. Nobody wants to hire an old bastard past his prime. Folks my age, we're no longer clever or gifted anymore. It's always something about experience or being outdated with me. Granted, I don't trust all this new tech, but you shouldn't either. Write those damn reports yourself. Don't just feed it into an AI. Who knows what mistakes it might make. You can't trust anybody but yourself. And I've still got stuff keeping me attached to the site. Got lots of friends with jokes. It's always new folk to train. Section heads to support. Researchers to bug. Hell, we even got evil corporations to battle. The whole nine yards. Fight with the mouse never ends. Right? But I also know that I'm falling out of love with this job. I don't attend meetings every time. I mean, I never like meetings, but uh, I stopped caring enough to finally quit showing up. Did wonders for my mental health. All that work I used to do that made me famous to begin with. It's an afterthought, which I kind of prefer. Looking back, fame and glory was kind of a kiddie dream. You ever read the Romance of the Three Kingdoms? There's a scene where Zuande, Yun Chang, and Yide become sworn blood brothers under a peach tree, sworn to live together, sworn to die together. This place was our peach tree. Our desire to help the site was our oath. And then my two buddies have left. What a. Uh, what's the point of being known for anything? We were brothers, and. Now it's just me. 
and these past years haven't all been rainbow and sunshine. Friends of mine left one after another, some willingly with a clean rap sheet, some marred by scandal. A couple left because they couldn't handle what was happening to the site and went to somewhere else that suited their talents more. And life moved on. You know, now that I think about it, I talk about how I don't care about being known anymore, but I wonder what... What will my legacy be? Will I be someone who did what he could for the site to stay afloat, or will I be an infuriating prick who harassed people for breaking rules they probably would never get in trouble for? Someone beloved by his co-workers, or someone who was beyond incompetent and only barely tolerable? I haven't worked up the courage to ask yet. Maybe I never will. That is the first half of Retirement Letter. I think you should go onto the SCP Wiki and read the rest. Uh, the link is in the description below. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dcimerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who's pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday. Promise.